Hi there and welcome back to uh, Apple Tree Surfboard's Tech Talk videos. Now, today we're going to continue our series on board characteristics and what they might do for you and for your riding style. So we've made a couple of other videos on outline of the board and a general board on a general video on how to pick your perfect uh, kite boards. We'll link them in the description below and you can also check it here. Uh, make sure to, to look at those videos first because they all sort of uh, follow each other up. Today we're going to look at the rocker of a kite board. Now rocker is something really important because it, it really can make or break the design of a kite board. We, we, we invest a lot of time and a lot of prototypes in finding that perfect rocker line for that for kite surfing. It's a bit different than in normal surfing because obviously with normal surfing it's just paddling and then it's only surfing the wave and with kite surfing you're on the board 100% of the time so it's also really important that the board goes upwind and then it, then it tracks really nicely when you're just cruising along so that changes the, the rocker line that you want. Um, but generally, you can go from a really curved, curved out rocker, so you can see this Luke's Leaf, for instance, has got quite a curvy rocker, up to a really flat rocker. Now what if, and then you can divide the rocker in a nose rocker and a tail rocker, but in general, we'll just go through from, from really curvy to really straight and what it does. Now, a really curvy rocker will make the board pretty loose and sort of twitchy feeling. So if you have extreme amounts of rocker, you might feel the board is too nervous and it's not sort of comfortable to ride. But if you're like a really hardcore freestyle guy, you might like that rocker because it gives you sort of a ramp to kick the board up into the air. So a board with more rocker will be easier to kick up into the air. And also, if you're riding sort of bigger surf, the rocker follows the curve of the wave, so the board is nice and loose and really fast off the bottom and fast off the top. But it, you lose sort of tracking and control. Now if you go all the way to the other side of the spectrum, you have a board with a really flat rocker line. For instance, I'll grab this Mala Domestica, which has, it has a, like a, a staged rocker where it's flat in the middle and it's, it's curvy out back, which I'll, I'll talk to about later, but a flatter rocker line will make sure makes the board track really well so the board goes upwind really well with the flat rocker line usually combined with the outline in the other video it's always a balance between the between those two um, but it makes the board plane really easy so you have better light wind ability and it goes upwind much better what you lose with a really flat rocker you lose that snappiness and sometimes the board like you want to go into a turn and the board just want to go straight especially when the wind is stronger uh, or the waves are really big that the wind the kite pulls you and the wave pushes you and you really want to turn that board in the bottom of the wave but the board says no I'm just gonna go straight I'm gonna go straight on you and you so that's something you don't want to have. But if you are riding a lot of flat water or you're riding places with a lot of current, but you always have to fight the current, so you, have, you need a board that goes up wind really well, a flatter rocker might be nicer for you. In general though, rockers are sort of in between. Or there are a stage where they're flatter in the middle to go up wind and then you can move your weight further to the back and the, the uh, board has an, like an accelerated rocker in the tail so you can move your weight over the accelerated rocker to have that looseness and then you move your weight forward to have that flatter rocker to go up wind. So that's how we sort of design boards but that balance is really hard to, uh, to get perfect so it's a, it's a lot of trial and error and seeing what works for, for who. Now that's a little bit on, on rocker and kite surfboards. Uh, like I said, make sure to check our other videos on outline and the next video that's coming will be on volume and volume distribution in kiteboard design. Hope to see you next time.